Alright guys, this is a uh, long plane review for uh, Gremlins 2 on the uh, Amstrad CPC. This was one of my favourite movies growing up as a kid. I used to watch it loads and loads and loads. But uh, I never knew the game existed for the Amstrad. Up until recently. I don't think it um, did uh, sold very well. or Certainly I don't remember it being in, on sale in the shops for the Amstrad. I think maybe Elite Systems who uh, marketed the game probably mucked up marketing quite a bit. I do remember it for other systems though, like uh, I remember have, I remember had the Game Boy version which is a really good platformer. And I think it did alright on the Amiga and stuff. I just, uh, I, just I, didn't, I didn't even know this game existed for the Amstrad. But it's also there for the Spectrum and Commodore and we'll come on to that later. Rather nice title screen there. No music though. And yep, you find there's no music in game either, which is a shame because the uh, soundtrack's rather good. Do you know what? I think I'll stop that up again in the background because um, that's, that's some really good stuff. Right, as you can see, you control Biddy Peltzer there. And those uh, uh, yellow things he's firing out is basically torch beams. And there's uh, four levels in this game. And uh, you've got uh, basically there's one objective per level, apart from the fourth, that's about two or three. And this either involves collecting things or uh, doing a specific task like um, setting the clocks forward on level two, turning on the water supply on level three. Um, I think we're collecting Gizmo's box on this level for some strange reason. And you get to rescue Gizmo on one of the levels. And then a uh, bit on the last level we've got to find the Electro Gremlin and find the fire hose. Which follows the plot of the movie because that's how they uh, get rid of the Gremlins at the end. They lure them into the lobby of the um, uh, Tower Blocker Plaza, whatever it is it's called. They spray him with water and then fry him with the uh, uh, electro gremlin. Now as you can see it's got lovely colourful graphics. Perhaps a touch uh, blocky. And there's lots of different gremlins you're fighting against there. Now those yellow beams uh, that are firing out, they're, they're all beams of um, Billy's torch. And if you remember from the movies, uh, the gremlins are afraid of bright light. So basically, uh, Billy's killing them with his torch. Now just above there, that's a uh, bonus life. If we can collect that man symbol. That other symbol there, to the right of it, is basically um, give you more time. And that parachute icon brings in Gizmo on his parachute. And he shoots off all those uh, from his bow and arrow. We'll then to help him out there, so that's pretty cool. Now sound effects are pretty naff and limited, unfortunately. But the main criticism is uh, the, the the scrolling's really really jerky. It doesn't move at a very good frame rate at all, unfortunately. It's a bit juddery and it's chugging along there. Oop, just lost a life. Now you get four lives per level and even when you uh, com complete a level, when you start the next level, you actually start with four lives again which makes things a lot lot easier. So you probably lose a few lives per level at least. Um, but ultimately it makes the game a little bit too easy. Once, you once you've played it through it a few times I'm sure you'll pretty much complete it rather quickly. Oops, just lost another life there. And obviously there, there was those torch symbols you can pick up and you get um, different torch beams. Ones that fire three ways you saw earlier. Ones that fire left and right at the same time. And other beams that sort of hover, hover around the screen. Apparently that's meant to be a frisbee, but it just uses the same uh, graphic for the torch. 
there's question marks or uh, random bonuses and uh, weapons, so you don't know which one you're going to get. Let's pick up another one, let's see what that is. It's your left and right, but with uh, double firepower by the looks of it. But yeah, with a lot of sprites on the screen as well, it, it gets even more chuggy. Oh, that icon right at the top of the screen, that's the Super Torch. Ah, which is basically a freeway. <laughs> that's pretty cool in the background there. Guy dangling off there, the gremlin atop top him. You're not meant to do anything there. It's just, it's just decoration in the background. There's some nice touches in this game. Damn it! You do have to be quite careful though. It's quite easy to lose a life, but you, Billy, there, you, you can jump and uh, duck. And the controls are nice and responsive. Now we're coming up to the end of the first level and we just need to get up the top there and pick up the item we need, which is Gizmo's box. I forget what actually is in Gizmo's box in the movie, what's special about it. There you go, we've found Gizmo's box and we just need to get to the lift now. So once you've done your objective on the level, you just need to get to the lift as quickly as possible. Uh, I was trying to fall down the hole there, but I'm going to lose a life. I'm like an idiot. Got no lives left, but we can just make it in time to the lift. And then next level, we get four lives again. Hey! There we go, and that's that level done. On to uh, level two. which is a TV set level, or Marge's Kitchen, so uh, we've got lots of gremlins in the, all the uh, ovens and cookers and fridges and stuff, I'm going mental at you. Again, some lovely graphics though. Oh, bizarrely in this level, we've completely lost all sound, um, all the sound effects have just disappeared. They come back on the next two levels, don't worry. A uh, bit of a bug in the game there, or it could just be like a, an emulation problem. Right, you need to try and jump on those TV uh, cameras that are sort of floating around. They could be a real pain in the arse to jump on properly. Once we're there, we can jump and get onto the high levels, which you need to do on this bit because there's quite a few gremlins waiting for you. The easy loser life. There's a smoking gremlin that always pops up just there. And like a red gremlin that appears on the right there above the cooker. You can get cornered. There he is. You get cornered quite easily. Ah. Oh. A smoking gremlin appeared again and I lost a life. Remember you can duck, that'll get you out of tricky situations sometimes. There's a gremlin in the fridge there, so you want to get rid of him before moving on. That's a bonus life, just above me to the left there, but there's sometimes a gremlin that will jump down there, so you have to be careful. Just a bit of a shame about the chuggy scrolling. I mean, obviously, the Amstrad did get a lot of stick at the time because um, it didn't always scroll very well, you know, let's be honest. Though, bizarrely, the Commodore 64 and Amiga versions, I mean, the Commodore 64 always had like really nice, smooth scrolling. They, those versions has flip screen scrolling. And watching the footage on YouTube, it looks really annoying. Because as you get to the end of the screen, sometimes a, a gremlin will appear and kill you. Rather unfairly. So, ironically, um, for once, the Amstrad's version has the scrolling and the Commodore version doesn't. 
although it's not been done very well. They've even attempted some kind of like parallax there. You can see like the floor sort of moving quicker than the background. It just looks a bit odd when he's moving fast. But this is uh, fairly close to the uh, Spectrum version, so it looked like it looks like both Spectrum and Amstrad versions were developed at the same time using similar code. And whilst the Amstrad has, um, you know, up, it has it up on the Spectrum in terms of the nice graphics and stuff, Spectrum version does move a lot smoother and faster. I have to say though, the, the graphics on the Commodore 64 version are really good. You certainly see a lot more character in the faces and stuff of the Gremlins. The Amstrad Gremlins tend to be a little bit sort of blocky. I apologise, there's going to be a couple of bits here where it gets a bit boring while I'm trying to jump on that sodding camera there and keep, keep mistiming it. So you may want to skip this bit and fast forward a bit, little bit. I'm trying to kill that sodding gremlin in the, in the bloody fridge there as well. I think you need to get him on the top shelf there. And like the freezer ca cabinet compartment, sorry. There he is, he's gone. Now we just need to get on that bloody camera. So you can't walk past that fridge. Yep, stops you there, you see. And you can't jump over it, so... Get on that camera, yay! Oh! And then we fall off. Now, Gremlins, the original film, did have a um, did have its own game on the Amstrad, but it's uh, it was only a text adventure with a few pictures. So, um, unless you're a big text adventure fan, I won't bother with it. From what I remember, even text adventure fans weren't particularly impressed by it. So probably one to avoid. Ah, bit of a stupid move there. Now level two here is probably the hardest level out um, out of the four. Just seem to throw a lot more uh, bad guys at you. A few more trickier sections. Level 3 thankfully is quite short, but features like an awesome fight against a giant boss, which you'll see. Well, it's not that awesome, but you know, you, well, anyway, wait and see. Oh yeah guys, there is a nice ending to this game as well. Ah, I missed it. That camera there is a lot harder to get onto, so again, I'm going to bore you wasting a valuable time by trying to jump on that uh, floating camera, so apologies. Right, cool, we got rid of that gremlin. I'm just hoping that camera will float down just as I'm jumping up. Ah, damn it. So yeah, we'll try going back up the uh, steps there. floating above that microwave and jump from about there, that should do the trick. Ah. Come on, ah. Oh. Sorry guys. Anyway, this is the more boring bits of the game, so let's just get through them. The rest of it's probably all right to watch, so bear with me. Sorry. All right, let's go back at the top again. The controls are, you know, fairly decent, responsive. Oh, I've done it again. Um, you know, you push up and he jumps when you when you should do. Not much of a lag. 
sometimes there is a bit of a lag when you shoot your weapon but I think that's mostly because it limits you to a few shots until they've disappeared off the screen or uh, oh we've done it now thank thankfully okay we can move on so remember you might only be able to fire a few shots at a time oh damn we missed that tomato the collision detection is a little bit mm, suspect at times jump right through that bloody tomato to pick up the tomato weapon and remember just watch out for the gremlins sort of dropping off down from the top of the screen they will drop right on top of you hey there we go we've set the uh, clocks forward and that thought basically will in the movie it fools the gremlins into thinking it's uh, night time still and the plan was to uh, get them all in the lobby and uh, bring down the curtain that's covering the uh, the windows and let them f get them fried in the sunlight because sunlight and bright light kills gremlins of course but it all goes wrong and in the end we have to uh, douse them with water and electrocute them which you'll see later well we've just lost a life there getting past that smoking gremlin who's annoying but We'll make it to the lift. Oop, just about. Alright, cool. On to uh, level three and uh, pretty short level this one. But does feature a boss battle. Okay, in the uh, lab laboratory. No, you can only get on those higher up sections, like on the tables, by jumping on the uh, stools. So if you want to get up there, you have to jump on the stool first, because you won't reach the top of the table if you're jumping from the bottom of the floor. Man, the scrolling there doesn't it looks really bad when we've got a full screen of scrolling going on there with the background. Not so good. And in the bottom right corner there, that's uh, that's basically a timer. I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I'm not sure when it is that you run out of time. Is it when it's a full, when it's fully uh, night or fully day? I'm not sure. I think I've usually lost a life before it's uh, ran out. more of that music in the background going. Oh, I've lost it. Let's put the end credits on again. Extra life there, <laughs> but a lost life trying to get there. Right, we should be getting close to a uh, big boss battle. I think it's after this next sort of uh, desk section. Oh, there's a parachute icon. Gizmo will come and help us out now. Hey, there's little Gizmo. Moving a little bit too fast for him though. Oh, there's the object we've got here. Found the water supply, so we've turned back on the water supply so we can hose down the gremlins at the end. There it is, spinning away. Nice. Aha, here's the lift. And onto a uh, boss subsection. Spider's Corridor, so yeah, if you remember the movie, there's a horrible giant spider gremlin that gets made. And he's about to come up shortly. Oh, there's a girl gremlin, she blows her kisses and hearts at you, which you have to avoid. I'm impressed there's quite a, quite a range of gremlins they've got in the game. And they're pretty recognisable from the movie. 
And here we go, with the giant spider boss. Thankfully though, he's pretty easy. Oh, I just wasted. Should have left that um, f uh, extra life icon. Never mind. That's quite a big, impressive sprite. But he's pretty easy to defeat. I think there may be a bug here. I think he's supposed to spit at you as well, like you saw a second ago. As well as the uh, unleashing the little baby spiders at you. So all you need to do is just time your jumps and keep firing at him. And even little Gizmo comes to help out shortly, I think. Hey, here's Gizmo. Gizmo! Bright light! Bright light! <laughs> Things beginning to slow down a little bit there. But we've killed him. And uh, we've rescued Gizmo. Aww. Okay, and basically guys, we're now on coming on to the uh, final level. What we're gonna do here is um, find the Electro Gremlin, capture him, and then find the fire hose and get down to the lobby and uh, basically hose down the gremlins and electrocute them and we've done it. This level is a little bit different but it actually features live lifts. Here's the first lift and you, do, and you need to go up there I think. Wait for the door to open and hit the fire button. Nice little touch this level. Got higher levels to get to. Although I think I've just wasted my time because you don't really need to uh, get to this bit here. Or do you? I'm not sure. That's, that should give you extra time, that icon. But anyway, as you can see, they're just above me. On that level above is the Electro Gremlin we need to get. So we need to get up there shortly on. And don't jump from any of these sections and fall down because uh, reaching that lower level will kill you. Oh, sorry guys. It's a bit awkward. I think you have to press a direction fire to get out the lift. It's a bit annoying. Well, I suppose uh, I'm going to sum up a bit of a review here. So plus points, one, it's Gremlins 2 and it follows the plot of the movie really well, it's got really gorgeous colourful graphics, difficulty levels probably spot on but after you've played it a few times I'm sure you'll complete it, and uh, controls are responsive enough, what else to mention? Um, it's got a bit of a variety in levels. It's got an end, and uh, well, it's got a, a boss fight at least, and it's got an, it's got a decent ending as well for an 8-bit home computer game. Negative points, ah oh man, the really poor scrolling really lets the game down quite severely. It's also a little bit too slow. But um, oh, there's another plus point. I d the animations are not too bad, and there's a great variety in the gremlins as well. All the gremlin characters from the movie are there, which is pretty cool stuff. Back onto the negatives. We've got no music whatsoever. Grr. Jerry Goldsmith's score was really excellent, which you, which you're he hearing in the background here. And the sound effects are just really limited. Just a, a couple of those foot noises. Oh, uh, the weapons are pretty good though. Nice variety in them. Um, so yeah, back to negative. So yeah, we've got the poor scrolling, uh, slow gameplay, suspect collision detection at times as well. And it's rather short. It seems initially overly difficult, especially on level two, but 
you're given a real helping hand by basically getting four lives per level each time. So, overall, I'm hovering between a six and a half out of ten or a seven out of ten. I think, guys, I think I'll have to go for a six and a half out of ten. Because it's not amazing stuff. But hey, the one thing it does have, have up on the 16-bit Amiga version is that it does actually have some kind of ending. The Amiga version just gives you a uh, one static screen with like you've completed the game. <laughs> Here we actually get a little bit of animation of the gremlins dying. So wait and see for that. I know, remember guys, the Commodore 64 version's only got flick screen scrolling, not the Amiga. Uh, which is a massive downside in my book. Because it leads to lots of unfair de deaths. Oh yeah, you lose a life from jumping too far. So, I don't know, I mean the Spectrum version's probably got the... Uh, it's probably a little bit up on the Amstrad version, maybe, because it's a little bit smoother and plays a little faster. But the Amstrad's got the gorgeous graphics. Anyway, I've talked enough about the other versions. We've just got one more lift to go up in. And watch out because the gremlin might drop down from where I'm standing. Ooh, just made it into the lift in time. Notice something actually, if you know your Ramstrad stuff, it looks like that top Gremlins 2 title bar, the Gremlin faces, uh, the Gremlin faces. That looks like that's been done in uh, mode one, and then the rest of the game in mode naught, which is interesting. It looks like a split mode system. So if you like your, your geeky programming stuff, thought I'd add that in there. And here we are. This is the end of the game, and there we are. We've got the hose there, ready ready to uh, spray the uh, gremlins of water. And there we go. Watch and enjoy as we uh, complete the game and kill all the gremlins. them pesky gremlins fried. <sighs> Some uh, poor English translation there. The threat has finished. Well done, you have saved the city. Oh dear. But uh, okay, obviously it was a Spanish game that's been uh, converted into English. But uh, okay, well that was a nice ending to the game. Oh, it was pretty good stuff. You know, um, has it has its plus points, has its major negatives, but six and a half out of ten. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you soon. Cheers, bye.